Hello everyone. Just imagine that uh, we are producing a series of a web banner or a web ad for a certain company or a client uh, or for myself. Uh, but as a series, it is important to keep the same structure and same layout uh, as a kind of a consistency. So uh, maybe uh, we can create the multiple files uh, for the series or we may create just a one stable and concrete template and we can keep using it. And then we just replace the text or the image. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. So first, let's take a look what we're going to do today. This is the um, uh, kind of a hypothetical uh, kitchen furniture promotion video for Instagram. So let's take a look. See, so uh, images in multiple squares fading in and text is coming in. So this is the one for the kitchen. So uh, the second one, we're going to keep using the same layout, same structure. We're going to just replace the image and then the text, which is this one. black background and this is a bedroom okay so let's move on okay so um, uh, please first yeah, download this image from the link I provided uh, the, below this video so um, you're going to see this uh, file this image once you open the file so uh, it looks a little kind of odd, but uh, we'll, we'll fix it. So, uh, and then also there are two images in the library. One is a kitchen and one is a bedroom. Okay, now, uh, in the timeline, there are multiple layers. And then um, I'm going to apply a mask on this masking layer. So, let me hold on the control or right click on this masking layer. We're going to see that mask apply for it. Okay. So this is what we have. And let me test the movie. Let me preview it on a web browser to see how it looks like. Yeah, so this is what it is. And then we're going to uh, make it uh, some kind of animation. So let's do this. So first, um, in the properties panel, I'm going to change uh, the frame rate first, 10 frames. Okay, and then select all layers, all first keyframes by holding down the shift key and then click the first one and then the very top one. And then go to the insert and create classic twin. Okay, then insert a keyframe. Okay, now I'm going to change this the frame rate back to 24 so we can play it in a normal speed so first the thing is um, on my first I need to have some kind of a plan so my plan is uh, the first the images in this, this multiple squares will be fading in and then the new collection these two text coming in and then 50% sale and the shop now coming next and the kitchen Maybe I'm fading in at the very last minute. Okay, so let's do this. So first, uh, <clears throat> you can't select it anyway because the, the layers are kind of locked because of a masking. So I'm going to unlock it first, these two layers. Don't worry about this. And then highlight first two keyframes on the bottom and the masking layers. And click on your stage. Make sure you click those things on your stage. Then, see that two frames are still selected. And under color effect, choose the alpha and zero. So it is fading in. Now lock these two layers again. See? So um, this mask, the image, is fading in. Okay, so that's all we need. Now, next, new and collection. These two texts 
I'm going to maybe I'm moving in and then also fading in at the same time. So first, new. Let me select the collection as well. Collection. And then I want to make it coming in from the right, slightly right to the left, to the, this uh, current position. So um, place your mouse, I'm a playhead, this blue thing, on the first keyframe and select your text and move it to the right slightly, just like this. Maybe not too much. And then also at the same time, I'm going to change the alpha value down to zero. So it is fading in and moving in, coming in like this. New collection. Okay. Next thing, uh, I'm going to move this kitchen. Kind of simple, but I'm, I want to do a kind of a fade in, but also at the same time coming in now, uh, this time from the left to the right. So on frame number one, let me select my kitchen and move it to the left slightly and change the upper value down to zero. So this thing happens. Next, sale. This thing. Red tag. Uh, I'm going to move it by holding down the shift key. Just like this. Not too much. And then also change the alpha value down to zero. So this happens. Okay. And then next, shop now. This button. Click on your shop now. On the first keyframe, let me move it by holding down the shift key. Not too much, just like this. And then upper value down to zero. See? So it's almost all set. Uh, but I want to give some kind of a little bit different kind of a time gap in between each element. So first, uh, this masked image, uh, the kitchen image, fading in first, and then new and collection. These two texts coming in right after. And then sale. You don't see it. That is this sale layer. I want to make it coming in right after this. And the shop after that. And the keyword, the kitchen, is coming at the end. So it will look a little weird, so I'll, let me just move it slowly. Image, masked image fading in. And the new collections coming in, and 50% sale, and shop online, and kitchen, the last. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to keep this all frames, the uh, frame number 50. So, uh, highlight the other frame number 50 on top layer, and the second layer. Insert the keyframe, so we can keep everything. Same way. Your collection, new, and the masking and image layer. Highlight the last frame and insert keyframe. So let me play it. Okay. Isn't it nice? Okay, now uh, let me preview it on a web browser. Command return or under controls menu, test movie in browser. It keeps repeating, which is fine. Okay, let me give some little more time duration. So uh, once it is all set, I'm going to assign maybe um maybe almost um, three more seconds so um people have enough time to read it. So uh, maybe on frame number in the five second mark, select all, and insert the keyframe. And let me preview it again on the web browser to see how it works.
three seconds, one, two, three, and play again. See? Okay. So it looks good. Okay, now, this is done. Let me save it first as, save as, um, template for underscore uh, kitchen. Okay, now, uh, I want to keep using uh, this template, I mean yeah, this structure, this uh, kind of layout. I just want to change the image behind in this masking. Also, I want to change the word of kitchen to bedroom because uh, there will be a lot of kind of variations. So, if you take a look at the, your library, there are, you know, there are two images, kitchen, that's the one we were using, and there's another image, bedroom. So we're going to replace it. Okay, so now for the bedroom, I'm going to replace this kitchen image with this bedroom image. So what we can do now is unlock this two layer and select your kitchen image on the very bottom layer and double click. So this is a kitchen. Right, so I'll take a look at this kind of top left corner of your um, document window. We're in the um, we're kind of digging into um, the bottom uh, level of this motion twin, I mean classic twin. So, open properties, select your image. That's the kitchen. We're going to swap it with the bedroom. Okay, so I change it and see what happens. Let me go back to the main. See, everything's changed. Then, let me apply, I mean, let me lock these two layers again. So now we have a bedroom image. For the text, same thing. Select your text. Double click. Now we can change this kitchen text as bedroom. Okay. You may have the um, now you may have a different look because this is the um, uh, the font uh, typeface uh, I have. You may not have it. So um, just to use the um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, your font uh, that you want to use it. And let me go back. So it is all changed. So I didn't change any tweening thing. I just changed the image, replaced the image, and I just um, uh, retyped my text. And let me preview it. See, it's bedroom now. So same way, you can keep changing it uh, as you need. Let me go back. Maybe this time, <coughs> excuse me, I want to have some kind of a background image. I mean, that background different color. So let me create new layer. I'm going to move it to the very bottom. I will name it as a BG background and then let me change the uh, in uh, just select the somewhere uh, on your movie uh, and then open properties and background the stage color current stage color is white I'm gonna choose kind of I don't know what to choose maybe black this time yeah black works better okay test the movie Okay, is it nice? So we can keep using it. Same structure, same layout, same typeface, but we can change the um, uh, text, we can replace the image. So we can use this as a template, so you can keep using for the future. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.